first off, Gord, thanks for, for taking the time to do this. Uh, really excited to see you in Huntsville on the, on the 29th of July. And I know it's been a, a long road for you, um, having released your album, get a few shows under your belt, and then COVID comes along. So, so yeah, talk to me about yeah. that first. Well, thanks for having me on. First of all, Scott, I appreciate it. And, and yeah, it's been a long road. I mean, it, it's been a long road for everyone, you know, let's face it. But uh, we got out, uh, dropped a record called Taxi Dancers in February of 2020 and uh, hit the road with uh, our good friends, the Trues, uh, James McKenty and I uh, uh, playing support for them just acoustically, just for a quick little two week run. And uh, as it turns out, that two-week run was the proverbial spiral down the toilet into the pandemic that uh, none of us anticipated. Guys started to get sick on the crew. Um, we kind of went from a normal sort of uh, routine, um, saying hi to people after the show and traveling to, you know, masking and avoiding everybody. And it was, uh, and, and here we are, you know, two and a half years later, kind of picking up where we left off with some commitments that we made at the time. So it's been a long break. And how's that felt to be out on the road? I know you played the Burnside Cafe recently, a couple of other spots. How's it feel to be out there? Well, it it, it feels really good, I gotta say. Um, James and I had planned to put in a little electric combo together. We're playing as a quartet with a, a drummer named Jeff Halischuk and my youngest son, Elliot uh, Sinclair, playing bass. Um, and it's just something that we'd always really wanted to do. Um, at the state that we're at with the hip, since Gord's death, sadly, we're um, kind of digging through the vaults and finding old cool material that people haven't heard before. Uh, you know, we've just released like a live record from 92. Um, but knowing Gord as well as I, I, I do, um, he would always want us to be pushing forward, you know? So I always took my cue from that. It's the principal reason I did Taxi Dancers to begin with. And then over the course of the COVID, uh, pandemic I was sitting around twiddling my thumbs and I started writing and actually have another record in the can so this this little live run that we're doing is to play a little catch up and to road test some new stuff and 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 really just to just to get out um I'm a big fan of live music both as a performer but but as a but as a consumer as well I think it's what we do really well in Canada and, and I really missed it the last couple of years so I I, I can't can't wait to get out and do it again. And with the the Taxi Dancers uh, album, I mean that was very reflective. That was that was your your foray in after the passing of Gord, and and I would suspect you wanted to get out and play those songs, and then have that pause where you couldn't. I mean, yeah. how did that impact you? Well, it it really was like an unfinished chapter. Um, you know, throughout my career with the Hip, um, we we were on a very very simple trajectory, kind of a 18, two year rotation where you'd write a record, record a record, tour a record, and then move on, you know, take a little break and then move on and, and repeat and repeat. And the pandemic kind of uh, interrupted the, the the closing of that taxi dance chapter for me. So, uh, and like, I'm no different than everybody else. We all kind of are going through a period of limbo and now we're sort of gingerly stepping out into figuring out how to get out of limbo you know um so it's great for it, it's great for us I, we're going out we're playing a bunch of stuff from tax dancers uh, a few tunes that no one's ever heard and and uh, and a bunch of hip tunes too so it's it, it's great you know I, I guess in a lot of ways the, the industry's maybe moved beyond the the traditional album cycle you know but I'm, I'm still kind of a fan of it i we always used to look forward to uh getting into the studio and writing new material with the hip and taking it back out on the road. 